Jim, specifically, you talked about the spark plug Libya to ignite the Middle East. It's now admitted that U.S. and British troops are there, been there the whole time. They always meant to have a ground war. Of course, they lied. It's now admitted that they overthrew their old dictator, Mubarak. What is the larger strategy, the stratagem, the deceptive strategy? Why, why? What's the larger geopolitical reason to destabilize the Middle East and the Central and Southern Asia in Pakistan? Why are they wanting to do that? What's the larger plan? I'm still trying to uh, hash that one out uh, with these turkeys, but we do know that they see their interest. Well, uh, war profiteering is one of the obvious ones. Uh, when you go to war, you make big bucks, and they're in the... Uh, heavily invested in uh, heavy industry. Uh, they all are. So that's why they're in favor of Star Wars. Uh, that's why they... Star Wars is a good thing, really, but they, uh, their motivation was uh, uh, profit. When you go to war, uh, you, got, you make a lot of blood money. So a big war in the Middle East, uh, which would be the rationale for invading... Uh, uh, invading Iran on behalf of uh, Israel uh, will be a uh, huge profit. And they're concerned now they want, they want the war in Libya to expand and go real big uh, and inflame the Middle East. And it, it looks like that's going to be a tough one part because uh, NATO is pounding them so hard, and yet NATO is one of their tools and tools. Okay, I want to briefly get into the the euro, their receivership arm, in, in so much trouble, and 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 this worldwide awakening to the private banking cartel. But your article in American Free Press, Texas Governor Perry, Bilderberg Ace in the Hole. We talked to you in uh, Greece at the time in two thousand uh, and uh, eight, and or two thousand and seven, and you said this looks like Perry. Uh, is definitely going to be running for president soon, just like Bill Clinton went there when he was unknown, basically. Uh, Low-level member of parliament, Tony Blair, a few years before. What does it signify having Rick Perry attend Bilderberg? Uh, well, it makes him uh, uh, Bilderberg property. As you know, when you attend a Bilderberg meeting, you take that oath that you'll reveal nothing, and you're supposed to uh, follow the borders like a good boy. And they all do. We've seen dramatic demonstrations. Uh, President George H.W. Bush campaign promising no new taxes. Read my lips. He said he's in favor of the Taxpayer Bill of Rights, which had been uh, first proposed by Liberty Lobby earlier. And uh, uh, within the uh, first year in the, uh, the White House, he reversed himself and increased taxes and uh uh, lost the election to uh, Bill Clinton, who, of course, had attended uh, Billenberg a, a year, uh, one year before. So uh, there's a great price to pay if you disobey orders in H.W., uh, disobeyed orders and paid the price of uh, the White House. So did Margaret Thatcher, and you were able to report that before she was forced out. Uh, we're talking about uh, hiding uh, Hillary. We had a lot of fun a few years ago. Let's see, it was Lake Lanier, Georgia. And the staff down there told us that Hillary Clinton is there. They've seen her. She's there for more than a day. And she'd be there uh, until Sunday morning or something. So uh, she was positively identified by several of their own staff members, just excited about seeing the First Lady. And uh, get back to Washington. I called the White House Vice, uh, First Lady's uh, press office, and First Ladies have their own big fat uh, press and they said, oh, no, she didn't attend such a meeting. I said, oh, no, no, they said, we don't know where she's being. I said, yes, you do. You account for every moment of her day. I said, I'm prepared. I know she was there. I'm prepared to write positive. She was there, but her staff did not know. Uh, we'll call you right back. I said, you call me back in 15 minutes. That's what I'm going to, which was not true, but I was, have to file my story in 15 minutes. As is, or we can fix it. They called back and officially acknowledged that Hillary had a, as First Lady, had attended the Bilderberg meeting. But they sure didn't like to, to acknowledge it. Jim, would you say that Bilderberg is beginning to run scared or is panicking or feels the world waking up to him, as Brzezinski told the CFR last year, that the world is waking up to the true elite and not their puppet front people uh, like Obama and uh, Bush? I mean, how would you quantify the state 
of this global imperium right now? I would say that they're all as nervous as a trumpet in church. Now, Jim, we've only got a few minutes uh, left with you. Uh, do you have any intel on some of the minions, uh, governors, members of parliament, m members of the Senate, that are going to be there under Bilderberg examination. You know, in the past, it was Bill Clinton, it was, uh, you know, other people that became president. Any word on uh, the agenda of uh, some of the things that, that they're going to be focusing on? Any other areas you haven't covered? Uh, can you take a video off head? I'll tell you, I'm, my mind's a little bit blown because a stupid cab driver uh, let me off at the wrong spot. Now, I've been here early and rested it went over my nose. I've uh, been sweating like a Negro on election day in Mississippi and breathless from uh, where the cab uh, recovered, where the cab dropped me off at the wrong place. Life, life is such in Washington. Uh, of course, folks wouldn't know that old Georgian saying back when the racists would go after black folks for trying to trying to uh, vote and would uh, try to try to uh, keep them from their voting rights. Now the system just has their electronic. Uh, voting machines. Well, uh, uh, Jim, I understand that you are a bit winded, but uh, you're going to be getting in, I guess, uh, Wednesday morning or so uh, into yeah. Switzerland. Tell us about this location. Have they ever met there before? No, they've met in uh, Switzerland, uh, I think, four times before, but never in the same place twice. And rarely do they meet in the same place twice, at least 20 years will go by. The St. Moritz, Moritz is a, a resort community. Not, not very big. Uh, to get there, I fly into Zurich. It take a three-hour train ride from Zurich, uh, Sweden, to uh, Moritz, Switzerland. Now, the intel I've gotten is they're, they're going to this remote area where it's also very expensive. Switzerland, the most expensive place in the world, for those that don't know, other than maybe Tokyo. But the country itself very expensive because they're very angry. You said a few years ago a quote was, the, we, we, we've got to implode the economy so folks are so poor they don't have money to travel and protest us. Uh, yes, that's their uh, broad program is to bring uh, to level uh, the world economically. That is, not raising the uh, uh, backward countries up to, uh, to our level, but bringing us down to their level so the entire world is uh, in a poverty level type of economy, more easily controlled. And, uh, uh, of course, the Bilderberg kids themselves uh, will never run out of ice cream. They'll live uh, uh, the same uh, luxurious life they've already, always lived. But for you and me and uh, the, uh, the general population, they, uh, they won't. The American standard of living to go down, so that uh, that's part of the seven dollar gallon gasoline uh, uh, gallon of gasoline goal that they've set is to help that along, and the uh, food shortages and so forth will help that along. Jim, just two final questions in one point. Uh, a, um, after you get a chance to uh, take a break, because I know you, you got dropped off far away from the newspaper and had to hike it, uh, but uh, uh, please stand by for Aaron Dykes, who's going to be on the phone, obviously working with you and conferring with you when you're in Switzerland. Uh, he'd like to talk to you about uh, some of those interviews we're doing later uh, yeah. in the week to line those up. So I'm going to have him call you there uh, at AFP in about 10 minutes, or we could put you on hold here in a moment, and uh, my producers uh, in, in the control booth could ask you those questions. But we do want to uh, thank you for the work you've done. Folks can subscribe at AmericanFreePress.net to get hard copies, or, of course, the Internet uh, has the reports there as well at AmericanFreePress.net. And we do appreciate you uh, uh, spending time with us. And how many years has it been? Is it 35 now or 36 that you've been covering Bilderberg? 35 or 36, we go back to uh about 1979 before I actually start traveling, something like that. But uh, directing the coverage by the reporters since 1975. Well, in, in closing, and then we'll let you go, uh, the folks need to talk to you. Uh, Jim, you, you brought up their concern about the collapse of the euro. Have they been too good at what they're doing? Because 
you know, has their own documents, World Bank, IMF show. They are getting everybody in debt, creating derivatives by design so they can take over the world. But have they gotten too good at destroying economies to consolidate them? Uh, you know, this planned destruction, command destruction, because now you talk about the, the Europe that they meant to continue to expand and merge with other unions as their UN planned states. Now it is. Uh, tottering and and the dollar that they control is tottering uh and, and more and more experts are saying europe uh, the euro may collapse uh so so specifically any more details uh well, the bill kids themselves the last few years have talked about how they're afraid for the euro and of course they want to preserve the euro and uh introduce as you pointed out the uh, north american union or the american union and the uh dollarization of our of the Western uh, Hemisphere, uh, they've been grieving over their overreach on the, uh, the economy, which endangers the Europe, which they want to preserve. What is the prognosis from your source inside? I mean, are they thinking it's going to collapse? Are they trying to prop it up right now? Uh, they're afraid that it will collapse. They're, uh, they want to take some action to avoid it. Uh, but they're afraid of the collapse of the euro are simply too many countries pulling out. They Britain's never used the euro. Uh, and we have countries, as I mentioned before, like Switzerland, say they're uh, not using the euro. Uh, several other countries in Europe refuse to use the euro, use their own. Well, uh, Switzerland, I, I'm, I'll be bringing documents to, uh, to Switzerland. And uh, Sweden does not use the euro because I've got some other kind of currency in case I need it in my brief layover in uh, Sweden. So uh, and they've always refused it, and that gets Bilderberg knickers in a knot. So bottom line, uh, how's in closing, how's David Rockefeller doing? Uh, he's still quite frail in a wheelchair, 96 years old. Uh, uh, he's a... Uh, I don't think he has many Bilderberg meetings left. Well, you've got about 20 left in you. How many How many of these you got left in you, Jim? Another 15, 20? Oh, at least. All right, Jim. Kid like me. We're going to go to break, and I'm going to talk.